Well, wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Billy, cadê seu respeito? Fogo! Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. Come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. I figured I should check out the security monitors while I had the chance. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. 
Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator, tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. was rising. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. I saw the elevator doors were open. One thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. Ugh!
killed more cops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. Sao Paulo's own David and Goliath. I'd pinned De Silva as a coward, but he'd risked more than anyone, and he'd never taken a bribe. I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil, but this was where I was. 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off. The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king De Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers, three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was going to look good on the resume. And I was in good company. Howell Passos, sent up north to find a washed up gringo who would act tough and play dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Nothing I was going to find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. That would have been too easy. My eyes and throat burned. 
but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. couldn't get that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. Hey, pal. Nice to see you. Vai pra casa, gringo de merda. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. And you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. 